lovelies, welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy the next video. I hope you see something that you like, that you learn something that you want to try, or that you have questions that you would want to do the research and see if it's something you want to do. Alrighty, enjoy the video. Hello lovelies, I'm about to work on a rhinestone t-shirt and I thought I'd take you along for the ride. I have already uploaded my template into Cricut Design Space. This is a design that I created in Silhouette Studio. So I have it, like I said, uploaded in Cricut Design Space. So I'm getting ready to send it to the cutter. And I just click on make it. And since the design is bigger than your regular 12 by 12 mat, I have to uh, uh, click OK. And so what I'm going to do is align it. I'm going to move it over a little bit because I don't like my designs to be that close to the edge. So I'm going to move it over on the mat and down a little. And that should be that. And then I'm going to click on continue. And my settings when I'm dealing with... Uh, rhinestone flock is to set my uh cutter on fabric plus and i like to click on the edit tool and select deep point blade and that just gives it extra pressure when cutting because the flock is kind of thick. So now let me get ready to set up my flock on the cutter. Okay, let me get it set up and I'll show you what I'm working with. So this is the flock on the mat and I leave the backing on the flock because I don't like to have to scrape all the dots off the mat and those dots get everywhere. So that's what I'm working with. So I must hit that so it can feed it through. Alrighty, we're gonna get to cutting. And this is a somewhat large design. So it probably take anywhere from 25 to 35 minutes. So I will bring you back once it's completed and we will weed the uh, flock off the backing. Okay, let's see what the cut looks like. Take it off the mat. And it's, it looks like it didn't cut anything and it's even hard for me to see where that weed box is at. There we go.
Look at that. We like butter. Never gets old. Never gets old. But if you can, and see how all these dots are on here? All I need to do is cut it right there, throw that in the trash. No scraping, no nothing. But it looks like I missed a, it missed a dot right there. But that's not a problem. That's just one. That thing weeds like butter. It never gets old. Oh, and another one right there. Not a problem. Not a problem. All right, let me move that out the way. And get those two dots out. It was there. And where was the other one at? I done forgot just that quick. And on the S. Okay, I got my mats that I get from Dollar Tree. Two come in the pack. And I like to store my rhinestone flock on here that way I don't have to keep pulling it pulling on the flock oh, I didn't cut it All right I don't have to keep cutting on the flock I mean pulling on the flock because the more you pull on it you run the risk of stretching out the holes and then your stones won't fall in easily and that's another reason why I like to uh, leave the backing on the flock because you you have to really pull it to get it off the mat, the sticky part, because you're fighting against two stickies, the sticky of the mat and the sticky of the flock, right? Whereas pulling this off the backing, it's not as so much of a struggle. Okay, so now let me put my template on the mat. And this is where this will stay forever and a day. I can use this over and over and over. Just brushing the rhinestones, file this where my other's at, and just keep it moving. And when I make templates for customers, I put it on here. Uh... Put the directions on here, you know, what type of stone, like SS10 and so forth, uh, for them, you know, so they can always know what they're working with. Alrighty, let me get my rhinestones. I need red. And I need my brush. Okay, I'm knocking things over, trying to get the camera at a better angle. Okay, I think that's good. Alrighty, and I'm using cyan red. My first favorite part is the peel reveal of the flock. When you get a, a good cut and it weeds like butter, so satisfying. And my second is brushing in this in the rhinestones. This is so relaxing. So relaxing. I could definitely uh, be like an assembly line with this. Weed it, brush it in. Weed it, brush it in, and keep it going. The part that I don't like is the cleanup. Okay, I think I got most of them in. And what I like to do is 
slant my brush at an angle to brush off the excess of rhinestones in hopes that I don't brush the ones that are already in place. Because it doesn't take long to weed the rhinestone flock and it doesn't take long to brush the stones in place, but it takes longer to clean it up. Okay, I have a few extra stragglies on my uh, template. But that's okay because I have some stones that I need to put in place. So I'm going to get my picker tool and just find the... Uh,